Hot isostatic pressing is more commonly referred to as HIP or HIP. It's a process by which a component or a part is simultaneously subjected to high pressure and high temperature. Now in the case of metals, when I say high temperature, we're typically talking about anything between 900 to maybe 1300 degrees C. And when I say high pressure, we're normally talking about something in the range of 1000 up to 1400, 1500 bar. Hipping is a very versatile process. It finds applications and uses across a wide range of industries and a wide range of sectors. One of which is aerospace, where we're handling a lot of flight critical and component critical applications all throughout the aircraft. At Bodycode HIP, we have two main business activities. One is our HIP services, where our customers send us the parts. We put them through the HIP process and then return them. But we also use HIP as a manufacturing process in its own right, where we're producing near net shaped components through the densification of metal powder contained in a metal capsule. And this we refer to as our powder met offering. HIP can correct and remove microporosity that's contained in castings and other parts that are made by conventional processes. By removing the internal porosity, you can radically improve the mechanical properties of the parts themselves. In the context of aerospace, this is particularly important when improving the fatigue performance of the materials. By using HIP, you can improve the fatigue performance of components by a factor of 10 which is comparable to conventional wrought alloys. HIP can also help reduce the variability in material performance, giving you components that are more reliable. It also helps to reduce the variation in mechanical properties, giving the component better reliability and consistency. And by removing internal defects, HIP also helps improve the surface quality of the finished part. With Bodycoat's PowderMet Neonet chip technology, we're able to manufacture complex components that are not able to be produced by other conventional techniques. It offers enhanced design capabilities and part integration possibilities. It helps reduce the overall number of manufacturing steps by reducing the need for welding and joining of subcomponents together. So it not only reduces the cost, but the time for manufacture. Being near net shape, PowderMet helps improve material yield, reduce waste, and has a much better bite to fly ratio than other conventional manufacturing techniques. In aerospace, we process a diverse range of components, both within aircraft and helicopters, across both the engines as well as the airframes. In terms of materials, when we look at the engines, they are primarily nickel-based superalloys, along with some titanium alloys. When we consider the airframe, it's primarily a combination of titanium and aluminium alloys. 